<laughs> How the devil are you? <laughs> now, I've always been skeptical of this cable thing. You know, uh, people will spend hundreds, if not thousands, on cable, which is bonkers to me. Uh, it's just crazy spending that amount on cable. Now, I currently have the Amazon Basics 16 gauge, one and a half mil squared, copper clad aluminium cable. Um, and it's not, it's, it works fine for me, it does the job, but it's, it's copper clad, it's aluminium. Now aluminium um, isn't a good conductor. It has more resistance to it than pure copper. But I only run it at 10 feet. Now I could have it even shorter. Look, they're not that far apart. But I want to keep it at 10 feet or three meters simply because if I ever move the speakers or the system, I've got that little bit extra to be able to put the speakers further apart. So there we are. So I keep it around about three meters, 10 feet. So I'm not really one thinking that cables are gonna make a huge difference, but I wanted to know for myself. And I am going to get some new speakers, uh, the Ali Obron 5s, which are six ohm speakers. Now they do recommend for six ohm speakers, you need a little bit of a thicker cable with less resistance. So I thought, you know what? I'll get some new cable. So I've bought uh, some cable here. Now this is two and a half mil squared or 14 gauge pure copper cable. Now what made me laugh is <laughs> in the picture on Amazon, it looks fantastic. But in reality, <laughs> it's not quite as good looking as they portray in the picture. But look, it makes no difference. It's still pure copper cable and it's a gauge thicker. So, you know, according to most people, this should make a bit of a difference to the sound that's coming out of the speakers. So anyway, what I'm going to do is swap these out. I'm gonna put this on, take off the, the old cable, the 16 gauge Amazon basic stuff, get rid of that, change it up, my banana plugs over to this, at 10 feet each side, three meters, and then see if it's going to be a difference. And I'll do a blind test I don't want to put which one it is because sometimes you get the uh, you know the placebo effect and I don't want that. So I'm just going to do a blind test A and B then you can decide afterwards whether you think it's better sound or not.
Which one was it? Can you tell? <laughs> well, I guarantee 80% of you either got it wrong or couldn't hear a difference. I reckon so. But uh, you're dying to know, aren't you? Anyway, I'll tell you in the next video. <laughs> no. <laughs> so, A was the copper clad aluminium Amazon Basic 16 gauge. <laughs> and B was the pure copper 14 gauge. Now, I personally couldn't tell a difference between the two. Nothing at all. Zilp, zilch, nout, nada, zip. Okay, there wasn't a difference. So what it says to me is, there's no need at shorter runs to spend that much money on cables. Especially if it's under 10, 12 feet or three and a bit meters. There's just no need. If you're running it through, through, through your house, then of course, yeah, if you're, gonna, you're gonna run 30 or 40 feet or 12, 15 meters of it then yeah, probably need, you're gonna need better cable because obviously you need a better conductor going through. But for shorter runs, absolutely no need. Now there's a great channel called Audioholics. Just type in the search bar, and maybe I'll put a link to the, the video I've seen. And they do some great measurements on speaker cable and they've, they've measured really expensive cable to average price cable and there's no difference in, a, in the measurements he's done. So have a look, Audioholics speaker wire or speaker cable type it into the search but i will i will put a link in the description box below to that video as well and it shows that there's really no need to spend all this money on speaker cable anyway so there you go speaker cable meh okay it doesn't really matter obviously it matters a little bit but not that much don't go wasting your money on really expensive speaker cable thanks for watching i'll catch you in the next one